cute. Vivir, vivir, la, 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 la. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. How are you today? It is Thursday. Um, I hope that everybody is doing well this morning. Um, we had Max's soccer. Um, we had Max's soccer party, end of the year soccer party here last night. Um, so it was a bit crazy, and I didn't go to bed till late. Charlie has a viral infection, and her throat is so red, and she is miserable. But do you guys know what? This is crazy. Charlie stopped sucking her fingers this week. Y'all, Charlie has been sucking those two fingers uh, since she was 14 weeks old. And this week she asked me if she could get her ears pierced if she stopped sucking her fingers. And I said yes. And she stopped sucking her fingers just like that. My baby has not sucked her fingers all week. And I don't know. It's a little sad. It's like the end of an era, you know? Um, so when she's all better, I am going to take her to get her ears pierced. And she's very excited. Very. Um, tonight is date night. So I've got a very busy day. And then um, and then I think Michael and I are going to go out tonight with uh, Adrian. Okay, so let's talk about um, life lessons. I... You know, there's a scene in Sex in the City where Carrie Bradshaw is sitting at um, the diner with her girlfriends, right? And she's talking about Big and she puts her head in her hands like this and she goes, why do I keep doing this to myself, right? And I realize that as women, we all have that moment. We all have that moment where we cry out, why do I keep doing this to myself? Um, and I realized I know why. I know why. Um, we keep doing it to ourselves because we have not truly learned the lesson that we are meant to learn. And that is a fact. How many times we have uh, been exposed to people or situations and we think, why am I doing this again? How did I get here? Why does this keep happening to me? Whatever the case may be, the truth is it's because we didn't learn the lesson the first time. And the universe is tricky like that. The universe will keep sending the same lesson wrapped in a different package back into our life until we learn exactly what we are meant to learn. Because let me tell you what's amazing. What is amazing is when you finally learn the lesson and you look back at yourself, you have one of them parking lot conversations with yourself, you look back like, girl, did it take you all that to learn the lesson? You're like, girl, it did. I had to go through it like seven times. You're like, girl, I cannot believe you was with this dude again. You're like, girl, I know. That is literally, literally what has to happen to us so many times before we figure it out. And the universe will keep taking that lesson, wrapping it up in a different package, and sending it back to our front door. And we're so stupid, we open the door, like, a new package, yes! We bring it into the house, we willingly unwrap it, we let it into our home, and after like, after like a couple of months usually, we go, that was just the same old lesson. We become Eddie Murphy and Raw. That was just the same old cracker. Um, that was just the same old lesson. And then you're like, oh, clearly I didn't learn it the first time. Clearly I didn't learn it the first time. 
you know, it's not PS, not just with men. For some reason, I continue to bring the same type of friends into my life. I don't know why I do it. I continue to bring the same type of friend into my life. I end up uh, falling on a sword for them. I end up getting them through an excruciating season, then chasing them for affection, chasing them for love. They never give me what I need. I feel completely unfulfilled. I feel like the friendship is one-sided. I become resentful. Eventually the friendship ends. And I'm like, okay universe, how many times are you gonna send me the same friend wrapped in a different package? And you know what the universe said? Till you figure it out, girl. Till you figure it out. And I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> okay. So was that a Ritz? Tracy, that wasn't a Ritz. That was a yeah, that was a saltine. That was just a regular old cracker. Um so I say to you, if you are having deja vu in your life. If you find yourself having one of those Carrie Bradshaw moments where you go, why do I keep doing this to myself? It's because you are not allowing yourself to properly learn the lesson. You are allowing yourself to be exposed to the pain. You are allowing yourself to be dragged through the mud. You are allowing yourself to, to, to go through the heartache, but you're not really learning from it. You're not really learning from it right? You know how we say things about kids like, well, if he touches the stove, he's going to learn today, right? He's going to learn today. He touched the stove. It's hot. Well, as adults, how many times we got to touch the stove? We expect our kids to learn lessons in an instant because we say so. But here we are as adults making the same mistakes over and over and over again because the mistake looks a little different than the last mistake. This mistake got a little bigger than the last one. So we keep doing it over and over and over again. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable how your body's calling for me. I know, R. Kelly. I know. So, what did we learn today? We learn that if you continue to find yourself in that situation, if you continue to hold your head in your hands and say, why do I keep doing this to myself? Why does this keep happening to me? It's because you are not allowing yourself to learn the lesson that the universe is trying to get you to learn. And you cannot move on to the next step of your life. You cannot move forward until you learn the lesson. There is a reason why people get held back in school because they didn't learn the lessons. Y'all are getting held back in your life because you're not learning the lesson. That's a fact. You will continue to go through the same heartache wrapped in a different package because you're not allowing yourself to learn the lesson. So when you are hurting, when someone has betrayed you, when your heart is broken, stop and go, what is the lesson? What is the lesson here? What am I supposed to be learning? What is the universe trying to teach me? And if you're making the same mistake with the same person, that is the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. It's not gonna happen. Do, 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 do. Do, do, same pain, do, do, same pain. Listen, I should be a rapper, okay? I'm sorry, I just should. Um, so how do we stop doing what we're doing? Okay, Jennifer, that's a great question. Uh, I don't know that I have all the answers, okay? Because uh, I still, uh, I'm, st I'm looking at a friendship right now going, girl, in the parking lot like that, girl. You did it again. I know. I don't know what happened. She looks so different than the last one. Girl, you got the same heartache from the same type of friendship. You knew. You made the joke that this one was so just like the last one. I know, girl. I know. And here I am 
trying to figure out how to get out of this friendship without my heart breaking. Girl, you knew this what was going to happen. You saw it. Don't play yourself, Jamie. That is where I am. So how do I get out of it? The truth is, I think you got to say it out loud. I think you got to be like, okay, universe. I see it now. I am attracting the same type of girlfriend. Because clearly there is some sort of lesson about myself here. What is the lesson? Well, Jamie, go back into the parking lot, talk to yourself and figure it out. Figure out what the lesson is. I continue to attract these types of friends, these Aquarius types. I married one, my daughter's one, my, all my friends are one. These Aquarius types that, that I overextend myself emotionally to because they're so unemotional that I feel like I have to just like love them, love them, love them, and they give me nothing in return. And I end up chasing my tail and I end up miserable and I end up trying to figure out how I got in this and this is me. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Girl, because there's something you need to learn about yourself that you're not learning. So I need to take some time, figure out what the lesson is. And I think Jennifer who asked me, well, how do we stop doing it is, I think we have to get honest with ourselves and like legit learn the lesson, right? Force, and I'm not saying all Aquarius are like that. I'm saying the Aquarius in my life are like that. There are exceptions to every rule. Um, I'm a Libra, and I think a Libra, I don't know. Oh, we are doing cast iron. Yes, we are. I'm sorry. I promise I'm going to get, I'm going to do steaks in a cast iron. I want to do uh, steaks in a cast iron. Okay, now everybody's going to be like, oh my God, I'm an Aquarius. I swear I'm loving. I know y'all are. I'm talking about the ones that I bring into my life. This is what I'm talking about. Same lesson, different package. Maybe if I was picking a different type of Aquarius, I wouldn't have to keep learning the lesson. I wouldn't have to keep getting my heart broken. This is what I'm talking about. Um, so as soon as I figure out why I keep doing the things I'm doing, I will let you guys know. But right now, I don't know. I just know that it is, it is that moment that all women can relate to when we go, why do I keep doing this to myself? For me, it was the most real moment of sex in the city. It was the most real moment of sex in the city. Because when she did that, I thought, girl, if you could figure out the answer to that, you could probably create world peace or something. Um, if you love a person you're with and you're hoping they will change. Well, that's like saying you hope that a lion becomes an elephant. I mean, I hope I wake up tomorrow super fit, 10 pounds skinnier. I hope that Michael just wants to D me down every day and I don't ever have to ask for it. These things are not going to happen. These things are not going to happen because you can't control your hopes, wishes, Efforts cannot control the actions and behavior of anyone else. You can only hope that you get smart enough to leave the dude not changing. That's what you need to start hoping. Stop hoping that he changes and start hoping that you get brave enough to leave his ass. That's where the hope needs to go. Fact. Okay. Um, just a reminder that I will be at the... Barnes and Noble at the summit in Birmingham on June 24th. Y'all, please don't have me sitting up there by myself. Please come through. Make the effort. Please come see me. Um, I know, Lauren. I got issues. I got issues. Um, come see me at the Barnes and Noble, please, when I do my book signing. I don't even care if you don't buy a book. Just come see me so I'm not sitting by myself. Please. So if you are in Alabama or even Georgia... Um, come see me. Stephanie Davey wants to know if I think men can change. I think they can change their clothes. Uh, I think a man can change if he wants to. And that's just a fact. A man can change if he wants to. And not one second before. And that is a fact. Um, you can't change a man unless he's in diapers. And that's also true. 
Sometimes if you have one of those wiggly kids, you can't really even do that. Uh, oh, Melissa Brewer's coming to see me. Oh, that makes me so, so happy. Please come see me, Barnes & Noble at the Summit in Birmingham, Alabama on June 24th at 10 a.m. I feel like I'm doing a radio job. I will be at the Palladium in New York. I will be at the Limelight, folks, uh, performing my new single, Get Down for the D. Get down, get down. Um, all right, I am going to change out of my pajamas and take this dog for a walk. Doesn't he just look pitiful, folks? I love him. Uh, hold on. We're going to do Wounded Warriors. Um, hold on. Yes, June 24th in Birmingham. I think I am going to try to do something in New Jersey, but probably not right away. Um, <coughs> as I choke to death. I love you guys so much. Share this video. See that share button right there? Just hit share. And then you can write something like, this chick is crazy. I don't really care what you say. Um, I love you guys so much. Have a great, great day.